Now, however cheesy and annoying this video might sound, it's one that I had to make. So, if you don't like it, yeah. <sighs> what is up guys? Welcome back today to another video on this channel. Yes, I just did the cliche thing where I take a deep breath before I say something, which makes what I'm about to say sound extremely important, which it is. Started off with something that I enjoyed doing and I wanted to share it with the internet and then it grew to something bigger that I wrote it on my schedule and I had to upload a video every Sunday 8 a.m. So from the first video and all the way to this one, in the past two and a half years, this is the story of Genius Apple, the booktube. So this is the 100th video on this channel and if we take an average of 12 minutes of every single video on this channel that's a total of 1200 minutes uploaded from this channel which is a total of 20 hours of content uploaded to YouTube from this channel. 20 hours of content has been uploaded to YouTube in the past two and a half years. Two years I've spent making content on things that I love, I enjoy making these videos, put my heart and soul into these videos and I have so much fun while I'm recording videos like this. I joined uh, YouTube on May 15th about two years ago and uh, my first video as a norm is on this channel was of a book review and when people watch my videos the first thing that come to, comes to their mind is that guy sits 24-7 and reads books. That's all he does. Nerd! Well, that's not the case. I know a ton of sports. I love playing sports and it's super interesting. I have so much fun in both team sports and individual sports. Take for example, I've done swimming, played basketball, football, badminton, squash, tennis, table tennis, golf, hockey and so many others. I've even played twice in the nationals for the squash tournament. All from across the country, people were there. And it was super fun, met so many people, it was just a thrilling experience. I also love trekking and walking across mountains, if I find one. It's just amazing doing that. So I really love sports, running, cycling, all that kind of stuff. Super interesting and really boosts my confidence up. Like I can go play basketball and come back or tired and just make a video at that point. It just boosts me up. So yeah, I love sports. I also am very deep into coding, like I know Python. Uh, C sharp and I've just started learning C++ so that's that's a plus I also like game development and I've developed so many games seven of which are actually available on h.io I was no one in particular inspired me to do booktubing I had seen so many other content creators on YouTube who had made it big just posting things that they love and I'm like hmm I can do that I didn't care about making it big I just wanted to share my views my opinions and things that I love with the internet out there so I'm like, it's a one day job, I'll make a video, edit a bit and just upload it. Like my previous videos, if you watch my previous videos, they are not very edited. If I used to make a mistake, I just used to like, continue, oh, oh my god, I made a mistake. Just do that kind of stuff. Now obviously my communication skills have improved and I don't make as many mistakes as then. But I just used to phase over that in the video, no editing at all. So I just used to record a video, pop it into my computer and out it goes. It was so interesting, I just used to have so much fun talking to someone who I know might not be listening but still, I just wanted someone to hear this. And the videos were about to be something that I love, so it was a win-win situation. Now my uh, first video was on Artemis Fowl, which I've told in so many different videos that it's my favourite book series. And I was doing pretty well up to that point, I had around 192 subscribers after a good time and I just kept uploading videos until... The author Nitin Sony found my video, a video which I had made about reviewing his book Super Power Student and it's just about how to ace your exams through different techniques which no one has heard of before. Yes, it's windy. So Nitin Sony, he found my video, he says in his video that some relative forwarded it to him and he spoke about my video in his video on his channel which is quite big, bigger than mine at least. So, so many more people came flooding into the comment section, so many new people came and overnight my subscribers went from 192 to 495 plus. And I was, a quote unquote, on top of the world with euphoria. I actually said that. Thank you, I'm on top of the world with euphoria. Thank you for getting me at this 
boy. So my subscribers launched from 192 something to 495 plus and that just motivated me to make so much more. It, it made me feel like if he can appreciate the videos that I make and if he can appreciate the effort that I'm putting into my videos, there might be so many more people out there who might like it. So I just went on with a new sense of passion, motivation and just jumped right into the video. So now with a renewed sense of motivation, I went straight into making more videos and to use the phrase most commonly used on this channel, I jumped right into it. Now comes the middle, the middle of my YouTube channel when I was nowhere in particular, not too big, not too small and um, then came the GBCA, the Global Book Community Awards which was the largest uh, booking community awards in the world. It featured so many different authors and content creators from across the world who took part in a competition, 100 of which were nominated for the final round, out of which yes, I was. And um, I met so many people and me and the Genius Apple Army just went and we got the most votes, like the actual most votes and won in our category. Came first in the world, GBCA. It was amazing. During this time, I also met so many other people on my channel and started focusing on how many more people are watching me. So I met most of the people who I met were commenters and people who regularly watched my videos. And I also met so many different content creators, one of whom I would like to mention is Bookshot. So I've collaborated with her on two separate occasions, one was this video and one was this other one. The first one was basically just talking about book recommendations for children and the second one was a collection of so many different booktubers coming together talking about their channels. So this second one was basically a, like a mini clip of me talking about my channel but this first one was the one where I actually collabed with her and it was a full long length video of me talking about books and her recommendations side by side. It was just amazing. So I leave the link to both these videos and her channel in the description down below. Make sure to let them know that the Genius Apple Army has arrived. Flood them with comments. <laughs> Don't spam please, they'll just like, attack me or something. So I have met so many different people, collabed with so many people in that booktube video. I finally came to know about so many other content creators particularly booktubers and I spoke with so many of them down in the comment section and I actually spoke to many of them like not in comments spoke to many of them I'm hoping for a different journey all together with these guys and hopefully we grow all together in the future together just as a group of booktubing then comes the end the golden age Golden Age refers to the videos on my channel in the past uh, two or three, four months where I actually decided I was going to put my heart and soul into all of these videos. Editing them, researching on all topics as much as I could find, researching through all facts, flipping through all pages of any book I wanted to talk about and if I wanted to do some kind of char uh, character analysis, learn about everything on that character, try to find all sorts of information that is considered canon, just try to get everything into a video so I won't miss anything out and get the perfect, in my eyes perfect, content for you guys out there. And this is when I realized how hard it is to do YouTube, though it just depends upon your passion, how much you, how motivated you are and how much you want to do this. But still, you just have to put that time and effort into editing, make sure nothing you said is incorrect, nothing you said is wrong, nothing you said offends anyone, just trying so hard. Right now the Genius Apple community is just on two places, that is YouTube and Discord, the link is in the description so you can subscribe, and to the Discord it's in the link in the description as well. So before we come to a very cool conclusion of this video, uh, there's a few questions I posted a community post about one day ago and I asked you guys if you had any questions and you can put them in the comment section of that post and well I did get lots of questions so I'm gonna try to answer them in this video it's gonna be extremely hard why did you keep your name genius apple okay um, I get asked this so many times like so many so many so many times it seems to be a very intriguing topic for all of you guys out there now for a few reasons I'll just say there are not many reasons to why someone would choose a weird name. Take for example these channels here. 
none of them have a name which might correspond to something to the regular audience now obviously it might be that they think that this name is relevant to something that they liked or they wanted so for me genius apple was just something i wanted to have a fruit in my channel's name and i just picked an apple yeah i just picked an apple I, i'm gonna eat that <laughs> and i also like and I also saw there was a channel called Smart Banana, which many of you guys have linked to. That that had nothing to, nothing to do with my channel, but yes, it does sound very weird. Genius Apple and Smart Banana. What inspired you to start a, a channel on YouTube? Okay, nothing really. I just like I explained in this video, I saw so many big creators who have just put, been putting things that they love doing. So I said, yeah, I can do that. And that's what I did. Where do you live? Okay, I feel like I've answered this before. Uh, roll the clip. Next question. Where do you live? In my house. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's where I live. What is your favorite video on your channel? Okay, <laughs> this is a question I didn't expect, to be honest. And I haven't prepared answers for these questions. I'm just answering them right now. Because I have the questions written down in front of me, but I have no answers prepared. So I'm just saying whatever comes out of my mouth instantly. So the video that I like the most on my channel, definitely like many creators will say the first one, not the first one is the cringiest, horriblest video I've ever made, poor lighting, and over and all it's just a video I would never want to make again, but obviously it was a start so I can't rule it out completely. So my favorite video might just be the Sudha Murti one, which not owing surprisingly to the fact that it is the most famous video. I think right now it stands around 5.5 thousand views and uh, not because it's the most viewed video because it was at an amazing location that was when I the entire video had no mistakes that was when I was having the most fun making these videos that was actually my personal golden age of my channel so that video regardless of its views has a special place in my heart the next question is will you pick this for the video no I won't pick this for the video at all this won't be in this video okay so the next question is which book did you read not series um i'm excluding fairy tale stories like ugly duckling and snow white and cinderella the first book i ever read was journey of sultans uh, kingdom of fantasy yes the sun just went behind the cloud kingdom of fantasy and it captivated me i just wanted to read more and more that's why i haven't left journey of sultan to this day yes i haven't how do you read it in six hours I sat down took the book flip through it as fast as fast as I could read <laughs> fast who's your most favorite book not series okay y you've done me horrible here because all of my favorite books are series Artemis Fowl Divergent Hunger Games uh, Six of Crows The Shadow and Bone C can I say a duology no I'm not gonna bend the rules um, I think my favorite book then will be okay I am gonna actually trick you it's a compilation of all of Ruskin Bond's books into one all of his stories and books into one so yes that's my favorite book who recommended me to be a booktuber literally no one that's just something I loved doing reading books and I want to be on YouTube youtuber plus books uh, booktuber yeah that, that's just how it happened can you reveal your real name hmm. so this comment says that it didn't think why I didn't reveal my name for now I have no reason for that, but it's just something that I would love to leave you guys in suspense for. At some point, I'll 100% do it, but till then you guys just stay in suspense. And last but not the least, uh, he forgot that I told him his birthday and I've announced it a couple times on this channel. If you want to know, it is 13th of August. So that wraps up the Q&A section of this video. And there you have it, folks, the journey of this channel all the way from the first video till now. I know I'm not that big of a creator to say this and it might not even motivate you to hear this entire video but I love all of you guys from the bottom of my heart be it 10 or be it 1.5 thousand I just love making these videos whoever wants to watch them whoever is interested watch them thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the 101st video on this channel goodbye guys hope you have an amazing day like I am today 100th video